Get ready for a night of fun and skills. The Harlem Globetrotters are heading to Springfield on January 10th at the BOS Center. Now, we had the tallest Harlem Globetrotter to sit down for an interview. He's seven foot one, Joey Hot Rod De La Rosa. He's keeping us in the loop. So first things first, uh, the Harlem Globetrotters are known for athleticism, athleticism, skills, and all of the dope tricks that you do, right? Now, you are great yeah. at the sky hook, hook shot, but we yeah. want to know if yeah, you can teach us virtually some skills with the basketball this morning. Can you teach us anything that we could probably do here at home? Yeah, yeah. I'll <laughs> teach you guys, like, the, the basic right here. So it's just literally rollers around your body. I feel like that's pretty basic. Look, somebody could do that. I mean, it's it's easy for me because I already practiced it on numerous times. But if somebody go in the living room or outside the backyard, I feel like they'll be able to to do this. This is called like around the world. Around the and world. You just let it roll around your body. Okay, and so you know, this is something that people can expect at the game right here in Springfield. Uh, tell me a little bit more about what's in store when you guys head out to the capital city. Well, when we come to Springfield, the Harlem Globetrotters are known for the what just happened moment. And you're going to see some amazing dunks. You're going to see some trick passes. You might even see me come sit next to you, grab a little bit of your popcorn, drink a little bit of your soda. I can't give you everything. You got to make sure to be there January 10th. Yeah. Yeah. And so you, Hot Rod, you are in year three with the Harlem Globetrotters. What are yep. some of the things, you know, you do to prepare for your big games? Uh, just work on my routine, work on something called my magic circle. So my magic circle, a magic circle is the most honorable moment for a Harlem Globetrotter. In a magic circle, you get to show off your height, weight, uh, flexibility, and individuality. When we say individuality, we sh that means you get to show off your tricks, the tricks that you've been working on and see what's the reaction that you get out of the people. And a lot of the times when we go out there, we get a lot of oohs and ahs. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what my routine. When I get into the arena, I sit down, I start stretching out, start working on my mobility and, and flexibility, and then I just start getting into my routine, my magic circle, and then when it's time to do our thing, we go out there and we do our thing. You know, you've been doing your thing for a long time, though. You yeah. actually were influenced at nine years old when you first came in contact with the Harlem Globetrotters. Um, of course, that inspired you to get into basketball. You were uh, earning D1 scholarships. You played at St. John's University and also yeah. overseas. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me tell you a little story yeah. about myself. When I was nine years old, the Harlem Globetrotters came to my school at PS9 on 183rd Street in the Bronx. And they was doing the same exact tricks that I'm doing today. They was passing it around their bodies, under their legs. They was passing it off the elbow. And somewhere along the lines, I got inspired to play the game of basketball. Later on that day, I went to my parents and I said, Mom, Dad, I'm going to be a basketball player. Like, I really, I love the game. There's these guys that came to my school that was really tall and they was doing all these tricks and made me laugh and had me interact with them. And then from there on out, I ended up making my fourth grade basketball team, which was my first basketball team ever. They gave me the opportunity to play where I went on to go play at Mount Verde Academy in Orlando, Florida, which is the number one high school in the country for basketball, where I got the opportunity to earn multiple Division One scholarship, where I went to St. John's and earned my degree in business, specifically in sports management mm -hmm. and a minor in finance. From there on out, I went to go play in places like China, Thailand, Malaysia, Republica Dominicana, Nicaragua, El Salvador. And then when the opportunity presented itself, my agent called me. He was like, hey, would you want to Would you wanna try out for the Harlem Globetrotters? They want you to try out. And then I slightly paused. Like, I looked at my phone and I was like, you know what? Like, of course, because it all brought me back to that moment when I was nine years old in the Bronx on 183rd Street okay. when I first saw them. It just came full circle for you, and that's amazing. And, of course, you know, you're all about, you know, meeting new people and inspiring the youth, like you said. And I'm sure people are excited to uh, hang out with you come January 10th. Let us oh, know. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I'm expecting them, too. Be ready. How Rod De La Rosa is going to be there January 10th in Springfield. Mm -hmm. And we're literally 
be ready to learn some new tricks, get to know me, but not only me, you also get to know my teammates mm -hmm. and you get to interact with us and see how we do on the basketball court. Awesome, awesome. I can't wait to see you guys out there. Of course, guys, head over to newschannel20.com. We'll have all the ticket information times because they also will be in Peoria and Champaign before they head right here to yep, Springfield. Yep, yep, Rod, yep. thank you so much for tuning in with us. We'll see you when you get here. All right, call me. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.